from the world's most exotic cities. From Paris, London, Shanghai, New York. Stories of the people who give these cities life on Star for Today. How do you do? In this modern boxing arena, we have a rather curious piece of athletic equipment. This is the old Roman cestus, which was worn by the boxers in the Colosseum, in that business which has interested men for thousands of years. Now, because a champion battler must almost of necessity be a man of driving and violent nature, it is one of the rarest of events to find a story which is warm and human in his trade. And that is why we're telling you this one, although we're going to call it Fight for a Title. In 1917, there war on. Among others, between a genius at boxing named Benny Leonard and a man named Freddie Welch. Leonard won the lightweight title. And although many have forgotten that particular fight, many remember Benny Leonard. It's past three. Oh, we gotta wait for the papers. They'll be out any minute. You wait. I'm all in. I'll see you, Mignon. Hey, don't you want to see your name spread all over the front pages? It's not every day a kid like you hits the headlines without killing somebody. <laughs> the usual. That morning paper? Mind if I borrow? How do you like that? They stole our headlines. Breakfast is getting cold, man. Billy, I'm going to enlist. You're going to do what? You heard me. Wait a minute, champ. What's the rush? Can't you wait until they call you? No, I can't. Well, things are different now, Billy. Don't forget, last night I became a very famous guy. Well, a hero to every kid. And a lot of grown-ups, too. Well, people will stop me and say, Hey, champ, why aren't you over there like all the other guys? They'd spit in my face. You know something? I'd spit in my own face. Listen, Benny. I'm a sucker for this country myself. When they need guys over 50, I'll be the first to go. But your case is different. You've been in this lousy fight racket for a long time. For what? To make some dough. So when do you make dough in this game? When you're on the top. For five hours now, you've been on top. So why don't you clean up first and then go? I don't have time to make some money when I come back. Says who? What makes you think you'll come back at all? You think the Kaiser is going to give out a special order not to shoot at Benny Leonard because he's a lightweight champ of the world? Which includes Germany. So I won't come back. Lots of other guys won't either. Yeah? What about your obligations? What obligations? Now, wait a minute, Benny. I'm not talking about the money you owe me. I'm talking about your obligations to your family. They call you a nice, smart boy. But you could have been a lousy punk like the rest of them if it hadn't been for your family. You owe it to them. So why not make some nice, easy cash and fix them up with a couple of trust funds before you become a casualty? What do you say, champ? Go on, keep talking. boy, Benny. We'll be on the train as soon as I can line up the fights.
Bart. What do you know about Kid Lombard? Never heard of him. The guy I'm about to fight. Oh, him. Local boy. Fills the house, one five straight. That's two. Well, what's the difference? Bums, second raters. Say, Benny, finish it for me in the third, will you? I want to catch that 10.30 train to Columbus tonight. All right, we're ready. Well, just a minute, young lady. This happens to be a dressing room. I must speak to Mr. Leonard. Nobody can talk to the champ before the fight. Come on. Please, Mr. Leonard. Couldn't you come back after the fight, miss? That would be too late. I'm Kid Lombard's sister. Oh? Well, what can I do for you? I came to ask you not to hurt my brother. He doesn't belong in the same ring with you. He's not a fighter. He won five in a row, didn't he? What's your angle, miss? You think the champ might spoil your brother's record, huh? I don't want him to spoil my brother's whole life. Someday he's going to get killed. My parents are desperate. You see, we're not a family of fighters. He shouldn't be fighting a champion like you, Mr. Leonard. For you, he's not even worth beating. Why don't you tell him to quit? I have. It's no use. He says he's going to be the next champion. It's like an obsession. He hasn't talked about anything else since he was a little child. Time to go, Benny. I'll do my best, miss. I'll carry him. Yeah, don't worry, miss. We'll end it fast. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. Thank you very much. I hope you didn't fall for her story. What do you mean? It's the oldest con trick in the game. In my book, the girls are fake. I don't believe it. It's an act, Benny. Just to make the boy look good. I'll lay you five to one she isn't even his sister. Well, I don't believe it. I never saw a more sincere face in my life. <laughs> You're breaking my heart. Did I ever steer you wrong, Benny? I'm telling you, it's larceny. The oldest con of them all. Don't hurt my brother. Forget about the girl. Get out there and fight like a champ. That's what the crowd wants to see, a champ. Now, let's go. Stop, listen to me. I beg you, listen to oh, me. Oh, come on, Dad, will you? You help me, will you? He mustn't fight. I talked to the doctor. My son is sick. Doctors? Eh. Uh, look, Mr. Lombard, I can tell a sick fighter two blocks away. Your son's in great shape. Don't worry. It's all right, Dad. Mr. Leonard will go easy on him. He promised. Don't forget to cover up. Cover up all the time. Then counterpunch. You got it? Sure. Tonight I take the champ. And remember, make him come to you all the time. Then jab, hook, and get in there. You got it? Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll take him. Main event, ten rounds. Introducing the fistic sensation from Decatur, Illinois, Kid Lombard. In this corner, a fighter who needs no introduction, the lightweight champion of the world, Benny Leonard. Let's catch that train, Benny.
six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, get in there, boy. Get in there, come on. Keep fighting. Come on, boys, break it up. Come on, break it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He'll live. How do you feel, kid? Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll be champ. Be champ. I'll show him. I'll show him. Dad. Dad. Don't let him hurt me, Dad. Where's the doctor? Tommy! Tommy, it's me, Madge. He's all right, miss. It's just like drinking too much. He's got to sleep it off. Don't worry. I'll be champ. I'll show him. I'll show him. They won't push me around anymore. I'll show him. I'll show him. I'm, I'm sorry, miss. I tried not to hurt him. I'll show I know. I'll show him. It's not your fault. I wish I could do something. I wish I could help. I wish somebody could. Come on, champ. Let's go. We still got time to catch that midnight train to Columbus. I'm not going to Columbus, Tilly. I... I need a little change. You see, I'm sick of fighting nice kids. What are you going to do? Tomorrow morning, I'll book a real fight. In Germany. Good. Think I could beat Charlie Dundee? Much better. Oh, you're much better. <laughs> Come on, Benny. Don't worry, Mom. Don't worry. <laughs> Where's that guy, Billy? It looks awful familiar. You got me. And they're off their noodles like that. They all look alike. See, see that, Dad? New champion of the world. Let's go. Give him some dough, Billy. What for? He don't need money. Look at him. I bet you he's happier than Rockefeller. Come on, Benny. Mr. Leonard. Oh, hello. I don't think you remember me. Madge Lombard, Kid Lombard's sister. Oh, yes, of course. I, I just saw your brother. I couldn't place him at first. He has changed, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, he looks all right, though. Does he? Well, what I mean is he... Uh, what's the use? It's bad. Very bad. Do you think this is... What I mean is... Do you think he ought to be here? It's 
the only place where he's happy. He wins the championship of the world every day. I take him here in the morning on my way to work, and I pick him up on the way home. It's like putting a kid in kindergarten. Exactly. Why did you come to Chicago? We had to. A year ago, he started talking to himself. Decatur's a small town, Mr. Leonard, and people... Yeah, but shouldn't he be in a place under a doctor's care? They would cure him. That costs a lot of money. And a sanitarium isn't a good place to win a championship. And that's all he wants. Strange. It's like a 24-hour dream every day. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll take him home now. I can fill you in, gentlemen, with a lot of high-sounding medical phrases about Kid Lombard's condition. But it all boils down to one tragic word. Hopeless. How much time has he got, Doc? Maybe a year, a month, tomorrow. Well, you heard him. So why don't you get the poor guy out of your system and start to concentrate on next week's fight? Johnny Dundee's no pushover. Boys are laying even money. Scares me. Come on, Benny, snap out of it. There's nothing you can do. There is something I can do, Billy. There's something I can do for the kid. Hiya, Damon. Hello, Billy. You said you had a story for me. I said I had a surprise for you. Same thing to a newspaper man. Well, this is one story you can't print. Pass the word along to the boys, will you? What's up? Have a ringside seat. This is it, kid. Don't let me down, boy. I got 10 G's riding gonna be the next champ. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll be champ. Left, left, pull. Left, left. That's it, boy. That away. Tommy. Tommy. Kid. Kid Lombard. Your attention, please. Attention, please. Tonight's main event, 15 rounds of boxing for the lightweight championship of the world. Presenting in this corner, the leading contender from Decatur, Illinois, at 134, Kent Lombard. The lightweight champion of the world at 133, Benny Leonard! Now, you fellow know the rules. When I ask you to break, step back clean. Shake hands now and come on fighting. Good luck to both of you.
Congratulations, kid. You're a great champ. Couldn't lose my title to a better guy. Sure, sure, Benny. You, you, you did fine. Let's go, kid. Hey, champ, that was a great fight. How about letting me handle you? I'm through with that bum. Sure, sure, mister. And, and any time, any time. Tell me you owe the foot. Sis, I, I, I told you, didn't I? I? I told you I'd be champ. You don't, you don't have to work anymore. I, I'm rich. I'll, I'll buy you everything. I'm, I'm the champ. Oh. Oh, why, why are you crying, sis? Because I'm happy. I'm so happy for you. Come in. You, you okay, Benny? Sure, champ. Sure. If, if you want a rematch, any any time, Benny, any time. Thanks a lot, champ. You're a great guy. Hey, champ, where you been? I've been looking all over for you. Some people are waiting outside. They're going to throw a big party for you. You hear that? You hear that? A big party. Big party for the champ. You come too, sis. No, kid. Tonight is your night. Yeah. Yeah. Big party. Big party for the chick. Sanitarium? Will they take good care of him? Oh, the best. Do you think they can cure him? He'll get better. Mr. Leonard, I don't know what to say to thank you. Oh, forget it. Man's entitled to get what he wants. Once in his life. Hi, Benny. It's a good fight. Your best. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Thanks, Damon. Thanks a lot. Hey, Benny, would you give me your autograph, would you? I'll be the champ when I grow up. You'll see. I'll be the champ. Hey, what's the matter with him? Did I say something wrong? Almost as important to a professional fighter, they tell me, as a good left hook, is his publicity. Yet what we have seen is one item that was never pasted in the scrapbook of a great champion. This fact, that for the last few years remaining in his life, the man named Kid Lombard had all his bills paid by the man named Benny Leonard. He forbid publicity. He kept the secret from the sports writers, and only quite recently has the story been known at all. And that, perhaps, is why Leonard himself is now remembered as being very much more than merely a man who battered other men for money.
watching from Paris, London, Shanghai, New York. Stories of the people who give these cities life on Starboard Today. Join us again.